What's up guys, today I will be going over the update 2.11.0 on Car X. These are the patch notes. Um, I guess I'll just go through it. Uh, the new map, End Ring. It's just another racetrack. It's not really a driftier track. The inside you can drift, but it looks more, a lot more like a grip racing track, so I'm not a big fan of that, but it's a, it's sort of fun to drift on. The three new cars, um, I have to set out all of them, they're pretty nice, the Penguin, the Glorious XC, and the Flash, the car you see in the background right now is the Glorious XC, it's definitely my favorite out of all of them, but the Penguin and the Flash are also really good for drifting, so the three new cars are, uh, really good for drifting. There's some new body kits, which I really, I, I like, because I've checked those out too. Updated car settings. Um, there's new vinyls. New stickers to put on your car. Which look very nice, like with my sticker bob window. Uh, there are new physics. Uh, there's steering feedback, improved functioning. The suspension feels more realistic. Improved engine response to the analog throttle to feel more realistic. This has made the game harder to work with. I've noticed since I started drifting, it's a lot different. So, if you guys decide to hop on after the update, you'll have to get a little bit more used to it. Um, you can turn se sequential on and off. The driving steering wheel animation now supports turning, so it just it shows more angle when you are turning. Uh, sorry about my dog. Uh, the, there is now improved camera settings to the window. Um. You can now see the steering wheel and driver. And the fixings are reflection and atron, which I really never notice because I never go on that map. And the fixed over adjustments and XDS braces. So I hope you guys find that useful and you guys can watch me drift. What's up, guys? It's Squinted back at it again with another video and today will be about the new xbox car x drift racing update and i am here with lambo 14 ben today i will be reviewing the cars and i might go onto the new map and test them, that map out too this is the nissan 3 what is it ben 300 gx yeah um so that's the car i'll be testing out uh, first, I might make, I'm gonna make a video for the other car. I this is a custom vinyl, and uh, this is a custom uh, detailing job by me. And um, basically, I'm just gonna uh, say how it drifts and review that all about the car. I read the patch notes before to you, and there's some cool new features about it. Uh, we're going to be drifting in Springstone first because uh, I have the new map I've tried already and it's a lot harder. It's a lot harder than uh, I think it is. And of course, they already crashed. Uh, this car takes a while to get, to get used to all these yeah. three new cards. All these three new cards. Because I'm pretty sure in the update, they um, added more angle to cars. Shoot, sorry. And with more angle, it's just a lot... It's easier to get angle for drifts, but a lot harder to just do, like, normal drifts for some reason. So both of us are trying to get used to it. One of the major things that I've noticed already is when you do get close to a wall mid-drift, it shows up with this little white line and this and a number and that's how far away you are from the wall. You, I will be able to show you in Springstone. It's just it's very open roads and not really any walls. And you have to be drifting, so let's see if I can do it here. Yep, you see it says 1.2 to like 2 meters and it changes while you go. So that's a pretty cool feature I thought I, that I found out that I thought was pretty cool. It it like it changes. Oh, it really doesn't. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm saying. 
but it's just a nice little feature to see, like when you say, oh, I got really close, you can actually tell how close you were. And then also, they added like new drift skills. Like, they used yeah, to only have like entry and then angle, but now they have um, like pure drift and they have like a bunch of new ones. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, and um, these cars do cost a lot of money. I think I spent approximately on all these cars, upgrades and stuff. I, I think I spent around three million. If you guys uh, need to know how to get three million fast, uh, search up free money glitch on Car X. You'll find many videos on how to do it. It's with the links in the West Coast Arena map. Uh, you get like five hundred thousand per, per round, and it's like twenty seconds. So it's a really easy money glitch. That's how I get all of my all of my stuff. And that's how I built this car. At the end of this video, I'll show the tune. Um, it's it's not much different besides the angles, like uh, Ben was talking about earlier. Let's see if I can pass the lowrider test. There's. Oh, I'm surprised my spoiler didn't chip. Which is As you can tell, this sound this car sounds really nice. Like turbo in it, and it drifts really nice once you get used to these new cars. Yeah. I'm sure, I think uh, Ben tested out all the new cars and found out that all of them are weird after this new update. Yeah, so, uh, oh, they changed the tune settings a bit. Yeah. Like I said, stay tuned oh, to the end of the video. Holy. Stay tuned to the end of the video to see my mine and Ben's tune for this car. Make sure to go check out his video so that he can show you the review on the other new, new cars that um, he has purchased already. I won't be able to show him because I don't Did I bump his setup and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. These cars, since they have all this new angle and stuff, they are very easy to do 360 uh, entries in. Yeah. So, when you are, like, it, you, get so, you get so much angle super fast, it almost that sometimes you can overturn the 360 entry. Mm-hmm. Oh, pretty shit. insane with these new cars. And look at that, I have a viewer. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe, it means a lot. And leave a comment down below to see if I can help you out. And I swear to god, if my mic is muted during this whole entire video, I am going to punch my monitor. Oh. Make sure to also go follow me on nothing else. Just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yep. I don't feel like uh, my Instagram's actually on my YouTube channel, so if you want to go check that out too, um, I think I posted with my dog and uh, some rocket clips. That's it. Um, make sure to go check those out. So far, this car drifts really well, other than the driver. See, 360 entry. <laughs> totally didn't bump, but it takes a while to get used to. Uh, Also, drop a comment if you like my new intro that I put on this video, and hopefully future me puts it on this video, so that you guys can comment and see. I might put it on YouTube Shorts to get some comments if you know, so make sure you go check that out. Try to if do a 360 look, entry. Just, just send it. Okay, I will. If you guys looked at my achievements on top, it said quick initiation. If any of you guys know what these mean, please tell me, because I, I really don't know. Make sure to go check out all my other videos as well. I'm going to do a 360 entry somewhere else. <laughs> right here is like really narrow. Right, here we go. I'm in your way. Oh, that was actually oh, close to getting up. up there. You guys can see how bad I am at drifting and how easy I just did it three seconds yet. You guys can stay tuned for some more Car X clips, videos, and just turn on the notifications that you never miss out on when I post a new video. 
360. <laughs> As you can see, guys, that was a totally planned 360. And also, drop a comment if, like, my sticker bomb can win. I'm very long to it. Car. I feel like they added some new sounds too because it almost sounds like I can hear some stuff screaming around. It's really weird. This the new update. Um, you guys want to go back to when I showed the patch notes? I I haven't fully looked over them yet because I'm recording this before I read the patch notes for some weird reason. But I am. So I think they added a lot of new little cool features. Like the features to, uh, ah. The game that Yes, I will be posting a lot more RX videos and um, Set of Corsa and Forza Horizon. Also, I will be posting Forza Horizon 5 videos when they come out. When they come out. Um, if you guys don't already know, it's based off of Mexico and it's like a lot of off-roading stuff. I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, you guys can give me your opinion. In the comment section down below, drop a follow and a like. Just make sure to go check out my other. <laughs> Your car is like a little ramp. I know it is. Well, um, on the side note, thank you guys a lot for watching and taking your time to watch my video while watching your phone. Um, make sure to like and subscribe, and see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.